hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome if you're new please hit that subscribe button like and comment and let's get right into today's video so today i have a package from madam glam they sent me over a few gel polishes to try out and so i got to pick the colors that i wanted so I decided on a blue, orange, and yellow because summertime is coming and I figured I'd use it the most. So I picked this baby blue, this orange called uh, Gimme Pie, and this yellow called Bright Honey. Now for this set, I am going to be doing some extra, extra long nails, guys. I am so excited. I got these nails off of Amazon. I'll leave that link below. Now this is the first time I've seen this packaging before. Usually um, they come in bags or um, a box where they're individually packed. This came on, like as you can see, a strip, which I'm not familiar with, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't really matter um you know it all comes um i believe it's from zero to ten the sizes so right now i'm just sizing my nails and as you can see that these are full cover tips so i will be doing a gel x method and it has a frosted um cuticle area if that you want to call it the nail bed is uh frosted which it would be easier to glue on. Now, as you see, I'm doing the bend test. It is very durable. Um, I really like that. It's hard, um, flexible at the cuticle area, which is good. Um, you want it to make it look like more of your shape. And what I do to all my full cover tips is I round out the edges so it could look more of a natural um nail uh, as you can see our nails do not look squarish <laughs> like the nail tips come so i round it off as you can see and it looks much much better Now I'm going in with my usual prepping and taking my ball bits and going around my cuticle area to fix these crusty nails, guys. I know you see my nails and they look so bad. So yeah, they need some cleaning up to do to get these nails looking pretty. Now, instead of taking my sanding band, I just went in with my um, 180 grit nail file and just gently um, buffed the nail plates. And now I'm going in with my cuticle scissors to take off that extra cuticle. Now, as always, I'm going in with my Born Pretty Peel-Off Base because I'm always constantly doing my nails. I use my peel-off base just so it's easier to take them off and not damage my nail bed. So I go in and place a thin coat of that and cure it for 60 seconds. And now I have this new uh, LED light from amazon and now this is like a i saw this um a lot of people using this to do their gel x method so i said oh let me try it the only thing with this light it that is that you need a box because it only comes with the usb so you need a box to plug the usb and plug it in the actual socket but um it has a switch so i, I plugged it in and this is how it looks it has four modes so i'm guessing um it just goes like from it's not really like 60 seconds it just goes from the hottest to the lowest so here i'm placing all my nail tips 
and I'm gluing them with the peel off base, like I said, just so it can be much easier when I take them off. So now I'm placing the gel or the peel off base inside the nail and then placing it underneath the lamp and then just flash curing it because it does burn a little bit and that is honestly only with the peel off base so I feel that burn and I think it's just because it's um, a thinner base coat um, so that's why I believe that it does have like a heat spike but other than that it only lasts about a few seconds and goes away so I'm okay with enduring that pain because like I said I know it's just much easier to pop these bad boys off when I'm done so this is how I'm doing my Gelix method and this lamp's lamp is really good so I definitely will recommend it I believe I only got it for about 15 bucks or 16 bucks off of Amazon and like I said I'll leave the link below but um, here I'm just continuing to do the entire nails well the rest of my nails <laughs> And now this is how they look after I'm all done. Guys, these are by far the like one of the longest nail sets I am doing. It was like so difficult to like record this because <laughs> they were so long and my camera is like on my table. It's not like above. So I'm like, oh my God, like to move this was difficult, but I have already, I went around um, my cuticle area again just to take off any of that excess gel that might have spilled out. And now I'm going in with my Madame Glam base, um, base coat to base uh, coat all these nails and cure it for 60 seconds. So now after that is done, I am going in with Pivot from Madam Glam. And this is one of my go-to favorite nudes. Um, I just think it is a really perfect shade um, for all type of nail uh, skin types. And I don't know if you can see how gorgeous it is. It's more on the tan side. It's not pinkish, but it has pink... Um, tones in it. I don't know if you can see that is why I really like it. It's definitely that nude that a lot of people like. So I'm going in and using this as my base and then curing that for 60 seconds. And this is how they look after I've done two coats of Pivot. And now I'm going to go in with my nail art. So now I'm taking my Madam Glam Bright Honey. And I decided for this nail design, it's going to be a colorful nail design um, with a whole bunch of swirls and just a beautiful abstract design. So now I'm going in with Give Me Pie um the orange and I, now I'm just basically I felt like here what I was doing is 
placing all the colors on um my plate and I felt like you know a painter because I was just gonna put everything down and then start getting the artwork you know so that is um, Baby Bloom. Then I decided to go in with some Madame Glams that I've had already from the past. And this is called I Lime You, which is such a cute name. And then um, I'm going in with, uh, I believe it's True Fire Brick Red. Yes, a beautiful, beautiful bright red color. Definitely recommend it. Next, I'm taking my white gel paint. Then I'm also taking Pink Me Up from Madame Glam. Now, for the set, I'm using all of Madame Glam. So, um, this is a Madame Glam nail art design. <laughs> so, once I um, have all the colors that I wanted, now I am just going in and honestly just freestyling it i didn't know how i wanted it done but i just saw like a few designs on instagram and i saw a lot of them just like basically mixing um or just adding multiple colors to the nails and just making swirl lines and just being creative with it so that's what i decided to do just go in and just be very creative and just think of how i wanted the design to be so i hope you guys enjoy um watching me create this beautiful abstract uh design
Now here guys, since I used all the colors already, I decided to be a true painter and act like Picasso and started mixing the colors together just to get different colors to make um, my colorful abstract nail design come together. And now at the very last minute, I decided to go in with some black and my gold gel paint just to give it a little boldness. So after that was done, I'm going in with my top coat and now top coating for 60 seconds. And now guys, this is the final look. Let me know what you guys think. I think these came out so beautiful so gorgeous these are definitely one of my favorite sets um super long nails i love them though it did take a bit of a time because they were long but let me know what you guys think if you guys enjoyed this video um if you enjoyed my artwork please let me know in the comments and guys don't forget my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, and I will see you guys next, next time.